Well, hi, everybody. I'm Scott Kelby, the author of the book that you just bought, The Digital Photography Book, Part 4. So first, thank you so much for picking up the book. That's fantastic, and I'm glad that we're here together. I want to tell you a little bit about the book. I want to tell you nine things that will help make your experience in this book a lot, lot better. And because understanding how the book is written and how it all works will really help you tremendously, I think. Uh, of the nine things, the first one says you don't have to read the introduction. You can just watch this video. So congratulations. You're great at following instructions. We're already doing the, the first one. Number two was, I, I talk about how I actually write the book. The book is written as if you and I are out together on a shoot, maybe on a landscape shoot or a studio shoot. And if you asked me a question in real life, I wouldn't give you a bunch of theory and a bunch of technical explanations. I would just tell you how to do it, right? So, for example, we're in the studio and we set up a softbox and you take a couple of shots and you're like, man, this shot, it looks kind of harsh. How can I make the light softer? I thought putting a softbox on would make the light soft. And what I would tell you, what I would tell a friend is, you know what it is? All you got to do is take the softbox and move it as close to your subject as you can without it actually being in the frame. Because when the closer you get it, the softer and the more beautiful the light. That's all I needed to, to tell you. And you'd go, oh, okay, great. And move it in close. So that's the kind of thing I do throughout the books. Just you and me on a shoot and I'm answering things exactly like it would if I was just staying there in front of a friend. Now, part four picks up right where part three left off. So if, if the first part you bought was part four, I hate to like take this video and try to sell you on buying my other books, but they were designed kind of in a flow. Like when I wrote the first one, I really didn't think there was gonna be a volume two or a volume three, it's certainly not a volume four, but they kind of build on each other. So this book picks up where volume three left off, which picks up where volume two left off, which picks up from volume one. So if you are brand new to this, what I would recommend is, is and I hate to do this, it's very inexpensive, the books are incredibly, incredibly, they're almost so inexpensive they're free. <laughs> Go get volume one and read it first. It will help you so much in getting the most out of volume four. And I honestly, I cringe even saying that because I, I, don't, I didn't want you to watch this video so I could pitch you on another book. But in the context of things, volume one, which by the way, is the best-selling book in the history of digital photography. Do you know why? Because it's got all that first stuff you need to know. So forgive me for pitching it, but I just kind of did. All right, so one thing that you will find out throughout the series of these books is to get certain looks, certain effects, the kind of the stuff you see the pros get, sometimes you just have to buy stuff. I mean, it's the reality of photography. I would love to tell you that you can buy a very, very inexpensive camera and a really, really cheap lens and get stunning shots every time. And in some cases you can, but you're gonna see some particular looks and some particular things and you go, oh, that's what I want. In those cases, you're gonna have to buy stuff. And I kept a really, really good eye on trying to really keep you know, the costs under control. I'm not talking about $6,000 strobes and $5,000 things. It's, it's, I tried to give you different alternatives and things that would be very inexpensive. So where's the list of all the gear? So if I had to list some gear, uh, I didn't want to put a bunch of web addresses all through the book because it would really get old, like reading a bunch of web addresses. So instead I put them on a website. You can get a list of all of the gear I talk about in the book. And by the way, just, just in case you're wondering, I do not get a kickback on any of this stuff. So if you buy a particular softbox or a light or whatever, mentioning my name doesn't help. You're not gonna get a discount. I'm not gonna get a kickback, so, which is sad because I really should, but I don't. So I, I put them there literally as a courtesy. Um, the, the address for those is kelbytraining.com slash books slash volume four, just V-O-L, V-O-L four, the number four, gear, V-O-L, the number four gear. And you'll find a whole list of everything that was used throughout the book, just so you'll have a link to the exact thing. All right, um, next. This has been a, a thing of mine, not just in this digital photography book series, but I've written over 50 books. And in all the books I write, I, I give you a mental break in between each chapter. Each chapter starts with a, a page that really, really doesn't have that much to do with what's in the coming chapter. They're kind of quirky introductions that that I've been doing, it's just kind of tradition of mind. It's supposed to give you a mental break. They are, they're somewhat silly. And, and so I just wanna tell you this now. If you're a very serious type of person and you know who you are, if you're serious and you don't want to laugh, do not read those. Not because you might laugh, but if you're a serious person, they won't make you laugh. They will only make you angry. 
So if you're a serious person, if you're like, I'm very serious, just skip over the chapter intros. I promise you, all they will do is make you angry. For everybody else, go ahead and read them, but understand what their place is. Mental break, just for fun. All right, now, throughout the book, you're going to see lots of pictures of cameras. And you're gonna notice that if you shoot like a Sony or a Pentax or an Olympus, you're not gonna see any pictures of Sony and Pentax and Olympus. You're gonna see mostly pictures of Canons and Nikons. The reason is, it's what most people shoot. Most people in the world shoot Nikon and Canon cameras. So that's what I put throughout the book. Now that doesn't mean the techniques will not work for you know uh, shooters that have other cameras. It's just, I use the cameras that, number one, I own myself, because uh, I have both Nikon and Canon cameras. But number two, that's what mostly everybody's using. So don't be offended and don't think, oh, well, this works on a Canon, I can't use it. It's not like that at all. All right, now, besides the tips that are all throughout the book, I had extra tips. And so when I had an extra tip, uh, sometimes I put a tip at the bottom of the page. So you have the headline, the picture, the description of, of what we're talking about, and then you'll see a little box at the bottom. Two things I want to tell you. One, that's a bonus tip. And oftentimes, it relates to exactly what I wrote ab about above. Might be just talking about the gear, an alternative, a different way to do things. Or it may not have anything to do with what I just wrote. But I had so many tips, I had to put them someplace. So sometimes I just stuck them on a page because they had to find a home somewhere. So just understand that those are bonus tips. Sometimes they relate, sometimes they don't. Whether it relates or not, does not take away from the tip. All right, now, one last thing, and this is really important, because I, I want you to grow as a photographer, and I hope that if, if this is, if part four is your fourth part, then I, and this has been fun, I hope for you, growing along as these books have grown, because I think volume four is, of the four, is, is more advanced than the other ones. The first one was like super basic, the next one was a little bit more, but if you've read those three books, you're not a beginner photographer anymore. So here's the thing, throughout the book, I, I, I explain it this way. It, it's not a tell me all about it book. It's a show me how to do it book. And a lot of times I tell you, look, set your camera to this, set your lens to this, aim it over there, and fire. And a lot of times I don't go into all the theory behind it and I don't give you a full explanation because the goal of these particular books, they are show me how to do it books. It's to show you, use these settings and you'll get better pictures. And it's designed to get you better photography. You know what I really hope from this series of books? That you'll start getting better photos and you'll start getting the kind of photos you've always wished you could get and that that will ignite your passion to go out and then buy a book that is a tell me all about it book and so just understand where this book fits into the scheme of photography books it's designed to get you better looking photos today without having to learn the entire craft of photography and all the technical stuff that goes behind it it's designed to get you better pictures to make you want to learn the craft and enjoy it well, guys, that's the nine things that you need to know before reading this book. You are safe now to turn the page and dive right in. But thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoy the book, and I hope that this helps you along your journey with digital photography. Take care, everybody.